All right, folks, I am going to take the occasion of the remaining few moments of this show to talk about homelessness. It's something that you television viewers uh, may not have heard me uh, wax eloquently on as often and as uh, frequently as uh, radio listeners have heard. Uh, I have often been accused, wrongly so, of making fun of the homeless and of bashing the homeless. And instead, what I have done for the entire length of time that I've been on the air in my national radio show, which is approaching five years, is to rather criticize the homeless advocacy. See, I don't believe any of the myths that they say about homeless. I don't think that there are three million, and there never were. And I don't think that homelessness was caused because Ronald Reagan cut the housing budget. That didn't happen. I don't believe that homelessness occurs because you and I don't care. I don't care. I don't believe that, that uh, there but uh, for the grace of God go you and I is applicable. I don't think most of us are only one paycheck away from being homeless. Rather, what the homeless problem is, is an opportunity for several leftists to assume a stage of power using their compassion and their concern to point fingers of blame at capitalism and Reaganomics for the, as being the culprits and the reason why some of these God-fearing people, who are just like you and I, they say, uh, have somehow slipped through the cracks of the safety net. Well, that's not the case. The safety net has become a hammock for quite too many people in our country. And in the process of, uh, of doing these homeless updates, many people have failed to listen to me in context, have failed to take seriously what I'm saying, and have chosen to, to, to uh, just bash me as being un, uh, unconscionable and uh, a man without uh, compassion. Let me illustrate perhaps the best example of what I'm talking about by telling you about this outfit in California called Project Dignity. Project Dignity is an organization which was offended not long ago when grocery store owners decided that it was time that they got their shopping carts back. See, the homeless go out and go into grocery stores and take shopping carts and they become their homes. And they reel them around town, they put their earthly belongings in there, and that's it. Well, grocery store owners, those things cost 110 bucks or more a piece. They want them back every now and then. After all, they paid for them. It's their property. And so the homeless advocates go, you cold-hearted grocery store guys, you insensitive boors, what right do you have to take their homes away? And so Project Dignity starts up. The avowed purpose is to raise money, to collect money from you, to buy shopping carts for human beings. <laughs> and call it compassion, call it concern and caring. They put uh, reinforced wheels on these shopping carts. I'll tell you why. Most homeless people, folks, have not figured out leverage. When they get their shopping cart and they, and they go off the sidewalk and into the street, you eventually reach a curb. And many times, you and I would just put our foot on the rear axle of the shopping cart and lift it up and <laughs> go onto the sidewalk. The homeless just boom, <laughs> boom. <laughs> the wheels come off. So these shopping carts have reinforced wheels, and you can even get them so that they are rubberized on the tips so that the metal doesn't hurt anybody. Well, these people claim that that's compassion and caring. Would you think that going out and saying to another human being, hey, I love you, I care about you, and I want the best for you, here's a shopping cart. <laughs> now you laugh. You laugh, but that's what I'm talking about. That doesn't help those people out of the situation they're in. It just promotes them staying in it. So I criticize it. Of course, I'm the bad guy. Well, let me show you the latest from Project Dignity. It's a video that's shown at shelters where the homeless go to learn how to survive. Project Dignity is teaching the homeless how and what to eat out of trash dumpsters. Watch this. Here we are again facing this dumpster. And with me is Harry and, and Booyal and Tom. And uh, they're going to show you some different pieces here. Harry, what, what's that you got there? Uh, this is a uh, pretty nice uh, medium-sized pumpkin here. Let's say it again, Harry. Harry, nice pumpkin. What do you have there, Harry? It's a pumpkin. It's a pumpkin? It's, it's edible, and uh, this is one of the better ones here. Can you show us another one? Booyal, uh, grab one out of there, would you, you guys? This is just some of the uh, surplus you guys have. Now, this one here is bad, obviously. Oh. You know, it's broken. it's broken up and whatnot. Show us another one, Tom. Here's a good one that Tom pulled out. You know, it could be wiped off, apparently, and uh, that'll make edible eating pretty good. And for something like this, you have to worry about germs too much because it can be washed off, you know, because you're eating the inside, not the outside. You believe that? Folks, that's not humor. That's not Saturday Night Live. That's not even a current affair. 
I mean, that is an actual video put together by people in Garden Grove, California, to teach people how to survive as homeless, to eat out of dumpsters. That's not compassion. That's not concern. That's not caring. That's almost criminal. And that's the truth about homelessness.